the toast is what we're doing. Okay, cheers. We'll be there as soon as we can, and we drink heavily. Everybody, I'm Alex Raimundo. And I'm drunk. <laughs> Everybody, good evening and welcome back to the number one tequila quarantine concert series. It's Super Bowl weekend and uh, I hope you're in for a big, big party. First of all, I need to let you know that Tater is on vacation. He's out of the country, so he won't be here tonight or tomorrow night. But I got a little treat for you tomorrow night, so I'll tell you about that tomorrow. Uh, but I'll just say this, Tater will be there, kind of, sort of. You'll see what I mean. But tonight, we want to start the show by saying thank you for always sharing and liking the Number Juan Tequila Facebook page and the V-Bar Facebook page and sharing this with all of your friends. We encourage you, please, more than ever, tip these artists. We're putting on great shows, and we put them on nonstop every weekend. And I'll tell you what, I've been watching the numbers. The numbers are big, and the tips have not been. Tip the artist, please, everybody. When we tell you any amount is is not too small, even if you give 25 cents, the number of people we have on here would make a huge difference to these artists. 50 cents, a dollar. You got five, give it. But I'm telling you, give something. That information is at the bottom of the screen because we got to keep these artists making something or we can't do these shows, guys. So uh, let's thank some people. We want to thank Walgreens across the country for putting number one tequila there. We want to thank Total Wine. We want to thank the Lexington Terry Radio uh, Syndicated Radio Show. Forgive me for always being a fan and supporting the number one tequila cause and the Alex Raimundo and Ron White cause. Uh, who else we got to thank? We, if you get down in Nashville, go to Lower Broadway. Go to Tootsie's. Go to uh, Kid Rock's Honky Tonk. Go to Honky Tonk Central and visit Rippy's. All of them have number one tequila. And what else do I got to tell you? I'm on tour. I'm on tour, everybody. Since January 8th, I'm touring the state of Texas right now. Go to alexcomedy.com. Very small audiences, 50 to 125. But guess what? We're selling them all out. We're drinking lots of tequila, that stuff right there. And we're having a damn good time. So uh, come see me on the road. Come see me live. We're doing it safely. We're checking temperatures. Finger in the butt. That's what we're doing. It doesn't matter how we take your temperature. That's all that matters. Uh, what else do I want to tell you? Uh, hey, if you see my new tour bus on the road, big white number one tequila tour bus, make sure you get a photo of it. Send it to us. We'll post it. I don't know who you like in the Super Bowl. Spider, who do you like in the Super Bowl? Yeah, that's right. He's a Florida boy. I, I should have known that. Hey, mad props to uh, what? A, what a showdown! Uh, the the goat, Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes, uh, the old and the new. We'll see what happens. Going to be a great game, regardless. The Super Bowl reigning champs, Kansas City Chiefs. Mad props to them. Going to be a great game. Um, I, I I like the Bucks too, Spider. 
I like the Bucks too, only because they're playing in their hometown. I think that's the coolest thing. So with all that being said, let's get to the show. Tonight, coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia, ladies and gentlemen. Wait till you hear this guy's voice. Wait till you hear what he does with the guitar and the guy that's accompanying him. Uh, it's a great show. Enjoy it. Don't forget to tip the artist, everybody. Tip the artist. Did I say that already? Tip the artist. Hey, by the way, here's how committed I am to the number one tequila quarantine concert series. I'm on the side of the road right now recording this for you because I can't be there tonight when this happens. So I'm recording it for you now. The show is live and uh, enjoy it. And I'll see you tomorrow night. And so will Tater, kind of, somehow. I don't know how that works, but it's going to happen. Enjoy Angie Aparo, everybody. Have a good night. Tip the artist. I am a killing fool One day you, You're gonna be mine I am a dirt machine I will wipe clean But this jungle I'm a burning ash I am burning for cash One day you You're gonna be mine I am a dirt machine And I I will wipe clean For this jungle vibe I'll Ripple from the sky There'll be no more Timberline We are, we are turning green into gold We are, we are One day you gonna be mine. I am a dirt machine and I, I will wipe clean, yeah, yeah. Of this jungle of ice, ripple from the sky.
and that is not canned laughter. <laughs> Those are my real, normal, friendly freaks that are drunks. <laughs> thank you all so much. Thank you, and thank you. This is Martin Lesh on the keyboard over here. We have so many weird, we have so many weird stories. <laughs> yeah, don't tell them here. But, um, but I want to do, uh, so, so that was a song off my very first record, or my second record when I got my first uh, record deal. And uh, this is, let's do Bicycle King. I think. This is one off my newest record. This goes out to my, uh, here's, here's the thing, I, I kind of hate, I, I think Facebook is like just a, like a, I know, I know we're streaming on it, but it's, it's sort of like a, like a big shitty high school in a way. It's like everyone's just out there, you know. But, but the one thing that's amazing is that you get to find these people that I would have never found. And so I had written this, this song for uh, Phil Pemberton. He's out there somewhere. And uh, I had written it, and, I, and all of a sudden we reconnected on Facebook. And this is a friend of mine, and we were you know, kids riding our bicycles through the orange groves in Florida. So this goes out to uh, Phil, and it's called uh, The Bicycle King. Just two kids ruling the summertime. La, 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 la. On a country road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the wild would grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there ain't no heavy load. Your soul is like a stone. God's rolling down a country road, country road, yeah, yeah. Well, the bicycle king in that old swimming pool down by the rotary. We sailed a boat made of air and poetry. And with the crown of moss from our bicycle, we tossed hallelujah and joy, hallelujah and joy on our way back home. Back home in cathedral made of sunshine. On our way back home, just two kids ruling the summertime. La, 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 la. On a country road, yeah, 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 where the wild would grow. God's rolling down a country road, oh, down a country road. Time. He rode you down a road like a country mile. God got your 
your soul in his pocket of time. He roll you down the road like a country road. Down a country road. Down a country road. Thank you all. Hey, John, can I get a little more of this vocal in that monitor, my vocal? Thank you all so much for coming out. My, 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 oh, I love you, too. You so much. We were blessed to use this theater here. We're like, uh, they gave us this theater to do this in. It's, I only have time for one more song. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> we have a long show. We have a long show. Um, let's do, uh, this is another song from... Um, the same record. I, I uh, made this, my last record came out in uh, 2018, and this is a song, for, it goes out to my, um, I have, well, I have three ex-wives, so, <laughs> I know, but if I get one more ex-wife, I, I get into the Country Music Hall of Fame, so. <laughs> I'm in room 233, all right. But no, I, this is, uh, goes out to my ex and her husband, I mean her, her father who died in the middle of our relationship. But um, this is called Jazz for uh, Danielle and for uh, Dale. Ring the bell, true love is like jazz, make you laugh till your heart wanna come undone. Ring the bell, you go scatting with the old high hat. You know you found the one Ring the bell I want to hear that big bass With the bow Thanking all the songs above For giving me your true love For your true love When your mama brought you home you were wrapped in her relation When your mama brought you home You were the highest creation She was ringing a bell 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 When your daddy raised you up You were his entire constellation Daddy raised you up, you highest creation. He was ringing a bell, ringing a bell, ringing a bell, ringing a bell, ringing a bell. Oh, they christened you the baby with the champagne eyes. Oh, they set you on a carousel and let you fly. Oh, they christened you the wonder of the universe. And they called you jazz and let God write another verse Say, that's my baby, that's my baby Ring it up, ring it up Ring the bell True love is like jazz Make you laugh till your heart wanna come undone Ring the bell You go scatting with the old high hat When you know you found the one Ring the bell I wanna hear that big bass with the bow Thanking all the souls above Giving me your true love Your true love Your true love Christian, you're the baby with the champagne eyes. 
Oh, they set you on a carousel and let you fly. Oh, they christen you the wonder of the universe. And they called you jazz and let God write another verse. Say, that's my baby. That's my baby. Wanna thank you. Your true love. Your true love. Sunday clothes on Smell the fresh cut lawn At dawn Yeah, jazz Ringing a bell Jazz Ringing a bell Jazz Ringing a Thank y'all. Thank you. Oh, you're so beautiful. If you guys have any requests, just keep that shit to yourself because we're not a jukebox. <laughs> this sounds like a uh, restraining order. <laughs> this is a song from uh, my, uh, let's do, um, this is one off of, uh, for my blue record, and, and I, Martin and I go way back, like, so I, I made my first record in 95, and we're going to do some of that uh, later on, but, but then I got, when I got signed to Arista, like, I, I met Martin, and we, then we started touring after that, and then we had some other records after that. Let's do um, She's Alright By Me. I think it's in, is this the right key? Is it in? No? We don't ever rehearse. That's even better for my vocal. <laughs> we were crashed in this, uh, this uh, place in Queens. We were I was trying to write this record, and so I had uh, access to this house. It was like, hey, you can stay in our house, but there's no furniture. Perfect. <laughs> like, so we slept on the floor, and it was horrible. But I did write this song. <laughs> it was the middle of winter. We drank, our, yeah, we drank the whole month. But. This is called uh, She's All Right By Me. She loves everyone she meets She's the best that I ever have found Gives a dollar to the man on the street She knows what it's like to be down When she comes around She's alright by me She's alright by me The only time I'm free Only time I'm free is when she's right here next to me. You might find her where the children meet. You might find her in a poor man's town. New York City down to New Orleans, California and the world around. Everybody needs her side. She's all right by me The only time I'm free Like a flower in the rain Sunshine breaking on a winter's day She's all right by me
she's all right by me. She's all right by me. The only time I feel like a flower in the rain, sunshine baking on a winter's day. She's all right by me. The only time I'm free is when she's right here next to me. That's my new thing. I'm just like all about like metal. Because <laughs> like, I just want to get out of these cities, man. This Hilton Head thing is just too, it's too many people here. Run to the hills. What if we went up there and we had, what if we had our own community up there and we would just have like our own people and little people midgets like me? <laughs> Everyone under 5'5 five five can go up there. Everyone else, no, get out. I'm sorry, you're all, you're all like, everyone here is 5'6". Mm, fuck y'all. <laughs> you know, you guys are like, no, we're all normal. We can't go. Hang on. Here's, here's my light show. I love this thing. Whatever. Okay. All right, let me pick through this thing that I have 400 songs here. I only know three. Um, oh, let's do this one, uh, Marty. Let's do Memphis City Rain. I had a request for this by a person when I was drinking with next door. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a song I wrote for, well, I did write it for Martin Luther King, but I was, uh, my old agent was in Memphis, so I was spending a lot of time there. Hang on, I have to put my crazy retainer on, hold on. And so I spent a lot of time in Memphis, and I, um, back in the day, the, the Lorraine Motel was like just, you know, where Martin was shot was just sort of sitting there empty. Now it's an amazing museum. You should go see it. I've, I've been there a couple of times. It's really amazing. But um, so I would be in, I was in Memphis a lot. I was playing these college like party stuff and uh, with my, my rock band. And uh, I remember sitting in my car and wrote this song. Uh, so this is called Memphis City Rain. song I've been here all along I'll be here when the hatred is gone Hey, can you recognize me? Cause I'm the light of the sun And if you come with me Let it be Sing my melody Yeah And it don't have to wash away In the Memphis city rain For the world a long time waiting, yeah For the world a long time waiting, yeah For the world a long time waiting For the hatred now to be fading For the love to give, yeah The love to give, yeah I am a song And 
every child know Light of the sun You come to me If you let it Let it be Sing my melody And it don't have to wash away in the Memphis city rain. Right, unless you. It's amazing. Back in the day when we were gay together, it was so great, but now it's just not right. Okay, he's married. We had some good touring. Do we had some great times touring, didn't we? We did. You're like, you're like, yeah, I'm trying to forget them all. <laughs> no, I know. It is it is crazy when you're in a van together for ten years. <laughs> so we're like, God, I hate and love you so much. <laughs> The silence is deafening. <laughs> uh, no, no, I, no, we had a great time. It was me and, Ma me and Martin and, uh, and uh, Derek, our drummer, we were doing a trio thing for years, and it was just, I don't know, we just had such a great time, and it was, yeah, it was great. Okay, great. Stop, stop reminiscing, Angie. <laughs> it's not important to other people. <laughs> um, I want to do, uh, I do want to do this. Let's do Freeman. From, this was a song that uh, Tim McGraw covered. And uh, not, not, that's not important. It's just that he did cover it. <laughs> yes, it is. No, Tim has been, they've been good to me. So this is called Freeman. This is actually on the American, which is my second record. Um, is it down here? It's, down, it's, it's open, right? It's open. Yeah, well, nice. I love that I have, and, and it's so funny, I'm like, I'm a terrible entrepreneur. So it's like, I go to a club and I'm like, hey, I just played this song and I have this record, but I can't sell it to you. I'm like, just the worst. I'm just the worst person. Do you have t-shirts? No, I don't have t-shirts either. Yeah, I don't care about them. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much to carry around in my trunk. <laughs> people, are like, people are like, I just want a t-shirt. I don't have it. <laughs> like, do you have a CD? No. <laughs> Does anyone, I don't, I don't think you need CDs, right? It's just so fucking terrible right now. I don't know. I'm going to do eight tracks coming back, so I'm going to do that and would y'all, if I put, if I printed my records on eight tracks, would y'all buy them just for, just so you'd, well, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, it's my, this is my, <laughs> it's like one no in the whole crowd, no, the one smart person, <laughs> no, eight tracks suck. Oh my God, I shouldn't have got you guys drunk earlier, this is nice. <laughs> this is called, <laughs> this is called Free Man. Hey, wouldn't you want to know Everywhere that a river flows to right now And show you how but Someday you might want to go Someday you got nothing to show For all your pain For all your change Saying no, it's the only way. But wouldn't you like to know I feel to live like a free man to give when there's nothing in your head and run. Like only the real can Like a free, like a free, like a free Man 
You've only so many roads to choose Sooner or later the ones you use They all look the same Someday you might feel the need Someday when you're tired of bleeding for someone else You're gonna want it for yourself I ain't saying no It's the only way But wouldn't you like to know I feel to live like a free man Today Like a free I do. I just wish I was a heavy metal guy because I, I'm like a sensitive heavy metal guy, which is terrible. <laughs> I'm a sensitive, I'm a sensitive heavy metal guy. I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna take you by my hand. I'm so sensitive, I'm sorry. No, I'm just, always, I'm, the, I'm the heavy metal guy that says I'm sorry all the time. Thank you all so much for joining us in this little stream and thank you Alex and Ron for having me in here and Martin Lesh over here we only have time for seven or eighteen more songs so deal with it because I'm gonna be here all fucking night so <laughs> yeah maybe I will maybe I won't I'll definitely pee my pants by then but that's fine um, <laughs> I'm just trying to see this is like our thing Marty like I, I, I have limited time with Martin because we, we don't play a lot together let's do um, I don't know what I do. I want to do this one. Let's do The Revolution. So this is, uh, I wrote this song. This is another one. I, I wrote a bunch of songs in, 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 on this island, so I would just, I love this place. I've just been, I don't know, I was kind of uh, came here in 95 and uh, just fell in love with it. And this is, uh, I was watching CNN, which is it's terrible I'm, I'm, or whatever, but, um, but this is back in the day. But they, had, they showed this. This is crazy, though. He showed this uh, 10-year-old, like, Middle Eastern kid, and he had a machine gun around his neck. I was like, that's like, kind of fucked up. Like, I just, you know, I wanted a guitar around my neck so I can get laid, but I guess this is a different, different, it's a different generation. Um, 
anyway, so I, I was kind of my version of Teach Your Children Well. Um, I wrote this song sitting under a tree over there, over by uh, CBS. <laughs> When you're young, they take your hand, they say you're from the greatest land, and right or wrong, they teach you the song of your people. In your dreams, they shape your mind until it seems you're one of their kind. And on your tongue, they write the song of your people. Mother, tell me, is the love on my tongue? Mother, tell me, cause I'm the revolution. Mother, tell me, are there wars to be won? Can you tell me, am I a child of the sun? The only one that rules the world is every little boy or girl. Child, you're the revolution. gonna bury your flags and all your religions it's a fucking drag to hear all your bitching when I was young standing in the kitchen and all the hatred was on my television Mother, tell me, is the love of my tongue? Mother, tell me, cause I'm the revolution. Mother, tell me, are there wars to be won? Can you tell me, I'm a child of the sun. The only one that rules the world is every little boy or girl. Child, you're the revolution. Love on my tongue, mother, tell me, cause I am the revolution, mother, tell me, are the wars to be won, can you tell me, am I a child of the sun, the only one that rules the world, is every little boy or girl, child, you're the revolution. Child, you're the revolution. It's a child, you're the revolution. It's a child, you're the revolution. Thank you.
Thank you out there in Facebook land. Thank you here in the theater. Thank you so much. I love the fact that I was, uh, here's what I do when I go on stage. I'm like, hey, I got to go on stage. Now I have to piss. It's a terrible thing. That's why I wear black pants. <laughs> You'll never know, but you might know. Now oh, you're funny. All right. Thank you so much. We're going to do some more. Let's do, uh, uh, what do you want to do, Martin? Because we like, we go so far back as lovers and as, hate, as haters. Yeah, I'm going to do Elton John in a second, though, but he doesn't pay me, so whatever. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you want to do? Just as a song. Oh, we do Sweet Loretta. Yeah. This is my, uh, this is my hit that's in Walgreens and uh, CVS. This is how fucked up, this is how fucked up the music industry is. It's like, my biggest hit is in Walgreens. Mm, I hate hearing it when I go in there. I'm like, oh, God, I need, <laughs> I need my fucking, uh, you know, my fucking stroke medicine. I'm going to go get, here comes my song in Walgreens. Yeah. It is terrible. No, what happens is like uh, with Spotify or, or they just buy your I don't know, song. It's like, I got friends call me. They're like, hey, I heard your song in Walgreens. I'm like. Don't, don't ever tell me that, please. <laughs> it's just like, keep that to yourself. <laughs> like, that is not helping me. Daddy's very sad right now. Um, no, but it's like I have a big hit, apparently, in Walgreens and Publix and CVS. <laughs> so we're doing, I didn't want to, I, I want, didn't want to, I guess we should break the news now. We're doing a Walgreens CVS tour right now. So we'll, we'll be in the fucking parking lot. <laughs> it's a perfect time to do it because of COVID, so we're good. And I wanted to tell you guys, just because I know you guys are in the audience, I want to know you guys know that I do have COVID-20 because I'm just ahead of, the, I'm ahead of everyone. Yeah, I'm just sort of like a modern thinker. I'm patient zero. <laughs> you're like, we're out. You're far enough away. Don't worry about it. But no, this, is, uh, this was actually my biggest song in Walgreens. It wasn't a joke. I walked in there. I was like, holy shit, that's my song. Why is it playing in Walgreens? I mean, I love Walgreens. Uh, and then I was like, my friend was like, I heard it in Publix, too. I was like... You're not helping. Like, this is terrible. Like, you, we've grown your markets. I know. Oh, God. All right. Whatever. All right. This is called Sweet Loretta for the, uh, I want to send this out to the DJs at Publix. <laughs> the DJs at Publix and Walgreens. But I do love, besides that, I do love this song. only dreams in black and white She just can't seem to turn the color on Even if everything is alright She pretends like she doesn't know And I pretend like it doesn't show Come on, come on, sweet, sweet Loretta. Come on, come on, times could not be better, you know. Sweet Loretta's tired of me, I don't know why. Sweet Loretta complain about the weight of the sky. Could start it all over again. You could smile like we were something new. You could rely on a love that comes to you. Come on, come on, sweet, sweet Loretta. Come on, come on. Times could not be better, you know.
Sweet Loretta, yeah. That was like, you got to have a big light show for your big hit. <laughs> He's going to die from this. It'll be like our largest stream ever. <laughs> oh, just let it fall. It'll be even funnier. Yeah, there you go. That's just like my penis. Nice. Um, thank you all so much for coming out. And over there on, on the Facebook streams. And thank you, uh, Ron and Alex, for having us. Um, I want to do... Uh, I want to do a song to depress everyone. To <laughs> now let's do Spaceship. Let's do that one. This was actually my first, uh, my first song on the radio. It was kind of weird when you hear your first song on the radio. It's weird. It was like back when there was rock radio, rock radio, run to the hills. I just love that. It's like, I listen to all that shit right now. It's like, ah. This bulb is like a like a metaphor for my life right now. I'm figuring this out. <laughs> Don't look at it that way, though. It's weird. Um, you want to do a spaceship? So this was, uh, I, I, was, I was blessed, and this came out in my first song, and like was on the radio, and I was weird, and like my, my kids, my children were like 10-ish, you know, and they were like, Daddy, your song's on the radio. I was like, yeah, I know, it's fucking weird. And, um, but I just, I don't know. It was such a great moment. And uh, so this goes out to... Kristen Honeycutt and Leslie Fram and all the people that started my career back in the day. Uh, this is called Spaceship. Hello. Hang on, I'll make sure this is this is fucking weird on me when I do it last time. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> Mama always said, I just want to walk around, dollar bill and a coat that never shed. A spaceship landed by the mall. There was a big parade, everybody got laid, and they burned all the books and the Chevrolets, and they grow so fast, they never crawl.
long to pay the rent. Y'all, thank you so much. Thank you. Should I pee my pants now or just wait later? No, no just go right now. You're, you're wearing black. That's why I keep these red stripes here, just so you know. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, that's later. Yeah, just relax there, okay? We're doing meth in the parking lot. Don't get, <laughs> don't get weird with me. I love you. Now, I'm gonna do, this is a song off my newest record, which is a couple years old because I'm a late bloomer all the time. Um, <laughs> this is Square Boy? Yeah. This is called The Square Boy. And uh, again, I have my record, but no one can buy it. So I'm like a great entrepreneur. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Look at my lamp. This is my life right here. This is my, this is my, my fucking life. Is like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you can buy one. You buy one, sir. You can buy one. You buy it at, at CVS? <laughs> it comes with when you get your prescription at CVS, they give you my album. God, it's so terrible. Here's, a, here's, your, here's Angie's album with your flu shot. Great, and that's nice. Daddy's fucking old. I get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're not there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, do it out here. So uh, this is called the Square Boy, and um, this is on my record. You can't buy. <laughs> Lonely boy. Nobody told him He keeps searching for the frequency of joy All his life They told him to work it out inside Cause he wanted to be like all the girls Cause girls they dream of a pretty world Of candy and pearls and things that will never be Life is absurd, haven't you heard? Too late to learn, square boy, square boy, lonely girl. Nobody told her she keeps searching for the frequency of love all her life. They told her to work it out inside Cause she wanted to be like all the boys Cause boys they dream of power and noise Then they destroy and take everything they love Cause life is absurd, haven't you heard? Too late to learn Girls, 
life is absurd Having to her Too late to learn The square boy Square boy Lonely boy Square boy That was very good that was a nice story. We've only played it like two times. <laughs> we, me and Marty have been rehearsing this like one time, and then we, we were rehearsing the other day, and we, we were done rehearsing. We were like, do you want to go drinking? I was like, yeah, of course I want to go drinking. It's like, should we work on that bridge? He's like, no. <laughs> we, if, we, if we work on the bridge, we'll ruin it. You will ruin it, I'm telling you. Y'all put your drinks in the air. I don't know what you have, but you should have a wand tequila. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out tonight, and on, on the screen there, too. And thank you, John Cranford, for producing this show for us and for, for Alex and Ron. Stick your face in front of the camera. Did you do it? You didn't put your dick up there, did you? Okay, good. <laughs> it wouldn't be good. I might be, actually, you might be famous. <laughs> um, no, this is good. It's so much fun. I, I don't ever get to go out anymore because I'm on therapy. Um, I want to do, uh, oh, you want to do a song about a stripper? Which one? Sylvia Plath? Okay. This is a song about killing yourself. Thanks, man. Thanks for bringing the show up. That's good. <laughs> Thanks for, no, this is um, actually, I suffered uh, depression through my whole life as a, a lot of artists do or whatever, and um, I'm, I'm really strong now, and uh, so I was, I was writing this, I, I had written this one line called, when I was looking at my depression, I was looking at it like, um, that I, I looked like I was hosting, I felt like I was hosting a parasite. And so I, I'd written this line down, like I feel like I'm hosting a parasite. Like I don't think it's really me, I just think like there's a possession going on. And um, so I wrote that line down and then I was reading about Sylvia Plath, who was one of my favorite poet ladies. She suffered and, and, and uh, committed suicide young. So anyways, I wrote this song for her and for me and for, I, I, I kind of do believe that uh, depression is sort of this more of a possession than uh, you know so this goes out to her and to Sylvia and to all people fighting this um, terrible thing it's such a drag when you're hosting a parasite in the vicinity of your mind Sylvia, I love you Father, since you left, this world's a foreign land I'll never talk to God again I'm busy hosting a parasite It's such a drag when you're hosting a parasite In the virginity of your mind Mother left instruction Sleeping on your stomach You feel your lungs rise Reminds you that you're alive When you're hosting a parasite la, 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 la. I was lighter than air Before you arrived Multicellular organism cannot survive. La, 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 la. I was lighter than air before you arrived. Uh, 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 uh. Such a drag, what a hag that little. Infecting the area of your mind A poet's little poison A needle full of ink A song inside a drink I wonder who I think I am When the parasite's my own
gonna drag my little parasite. La 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 la. You never get it right hosting a parasite. was lighter than air before you arrived I was lighter than air Cavalry, oh cavalry, are you on the hillside? Well, I've been popping pills side. My manners are on the ill side. Oh cavalry, oh cavalry, can you bring back my pride? Maybe a little dynamite. I'm hosting a parasite. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being, I know, I'm sorry, but I had to say that. <laughs> I had to. Um, I want to do, uh, I, I want to do um, this one. Wait for it. I'm looking for it. I want to do, uh, I did cover, I have, only have one cover record that I covered songs on. And you played with me on it, right? We did Rocket Man, right? You did. You played Rocket Man on it. No, no, it wasn't. It was, I was a, it was a live radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played this, I guess I, I, didn't, I didn't know I was going to do Rocket Man. I did it on a radio station in Charlotte, and then we re they recorded it, I guess, and it came on my record. On my, put it, we put it on my record. So I, I, there's only two covers I want to do. This is this one, and then the other one is later, because uh, I, I want to close with it, because it's by the Beastie Boys, because... They're the fucking best! <laughs> you so oh, you're like an enabler. You're just like an enabler for me. No, I'm telling you, you're, you're an enabler. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> you're like, I'm, you're like, I'm proud of it. <laughs> uh, this is, I'm not, actually, hey, hey, John, if I stand up, I'm, am I in the frame? Okay. Well, you're like, yeah, you stand up, you're four feet tall, whatever. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, too. <laughs> I just like to stand up when I play this. I don't know why, because it's just, I just, hey, easy, easy, I'm in room 233. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I like this song when I stand up. Well, I'm married too, to Martin Les, so back the fuck off. <laughs> you gonna play on this one? She packed my bags last night, pre-flight. Zero hour, 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high As a kite by then Miss the earth so much I Miss my wife It's lonely out in space On such a timeless flight, yeah. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time to touch down, bring me around again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh no, no, no. I'm a rocket man. Rocket man burning out his fuels up here alone. Mars ain't the kind of place to raise your kids. 
In fact, it's cold as hell And there's no one there to raise them If you dare And all the science I don't understand It's just my job five days a week I am I'm a rocket man On, y'all. And I think that is fucking terrible. <laughs> Come on, man. That's all the rosary. <laughs> Not even fucking close. <laughs> it's so great because it's all my drunk friends. I think it's gonna be a long time. I think it's gonna be a long time. This is Major Tom to ground control. This is Major Tom to ground control. You're like, yeah, we sort of know. I know no one knows the words. Don't worry about it. No one knows the words. If you all have a drink, put it up out there on the, on the Facebook time. And in my, my audience here, thank you all for coming to drink with us. I want to do, um, we're going to, well, that's my one cover. I have two covers, of course. That, of course, like you know. Like you're, like you're part of my thing. Um, <laughs> I want to do, uh, well, I can't do that one. Let's do this one. I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to close my set with Fight for Your Right by the Beastie Boys because it's like the best thing ever. It's like my favorite band ever when I was a young man. Um, let's do, uh, this is a song on the American called Beautiful. And this is a song about uh, strippers. Yeah, sure. Are they male strippers or are they? I don't like to specify because I like to take all the audiences in at the same time. What if like the females are like, I hope this is about male strippers. And what if like, you know, we're in like, oh, I want the female strippers. <laughs> you don't even care. God damn it. You're my drug dealer and you don't care. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what, key, what key are we doing this in? We're doing loud and low. Let's do this one. 
So this is called Beautiful. This is on the American, another record I can't sell you. God, I should get, just get a t-shirt or something. Yeah, this is called Beautiful. I wrote this in this, uh, back in the day, there was a place here on the island called um, Mardi Gras. And I, was, I, would, I used to play 2 to 5 a.m. And um, this is back in 1999, 2000. I would start at 2 a.m. and I'd play till 5 a.m. because that's when this, that's when it mattered to me. Like I was, when daddy gets awake, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm ready to go. I'm seriously, it was like the greatest thing ever, but it's, they, they mowed it down and, and made a stupid park that no one goes to. It's like a, I don't know what it is. Yeah, but Mardi Gras was amazing. So I used to, so I wrote, yeah, I was, I used to do this and I played this and I wrote this in that, that bar that was, um, some girls sitting around me, so I wrote down some numbers. Susie burned for the admiration and the cocaine earned. Social confirmation on the waterbed Staring at the ceiling while her halo bled Kissing all the reason goodbye Kissing all the reason goodbye Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh my, you look beautiful Creep puts her on the table with the fizz gin drink. Staring at a navel, all the walls are pink. Babies in the cradle rocking one, two, three. Thank you so much. I, d I will have to say that I. I'm sorry, what? In the park? In the parking lot. Um, we, have, we have time. We have time for more, right? I don't know where we're at. I, have no, I, don't, I don't watch time. Daddy doesn't believe in time. Oh, I did write something for. Um, I wrote something for Alex and. Uh, wait, I wrote something for Alex and. Uh, no, I don't know where it went. I wrote something for Alex and, and uh, Ron. It was. Uh, I had like a whole song for them, like it's like a 
about uh, Juan Tequila and Tater Salad. I wrote a whole fucking song about it. I for hey, can you relax? Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna do uh, the one hit that I had that, or what that someone else had that my ex-wife has, and uh, so <laughs> and uh, no, this, no, it was actually okay now because there's no more money in music, so everyone's broke. Like, yeah, she's broke too. <laughs> Ain't paying your bills now. Um, let me see. I want to do. I want to do cry, and then I want to do. Uh, uh, I well, I want to end with uh, obviously the Beastie Boys because that's fucking amazing. Right? Um, yeah, let's do cry, and then I can get. I can get. I can let that one go. Like I've been. I've been in therapy over that song for 14 years. <laughs> um, yeah, this is called cry. It's funny. The crazy thing about cry is that like I when I got my record deal, whatever, like I wrote this song in 1986 or something, and I was in my first marriage, and I was, you know, you're like, like I think so writing and songwriting is like this like precursor to your life, you sort of don't know what's happening, it's sort of this other part of your psyche that's moving forward and writing, and I wrote it back then, and it sat in a box for like years, like never, I mean, it was like, on a, I wrote it on like a typewriter, that's what typewriters sound like back then. And, um, and then I get my deal, and I was playing for Clive Davis in his office, and, and we're on the, I'm on the plane with my producer, and he goes, you gotta play him that song, that cry song. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I haven't played that, I've never played that, I've never, never, never played it live ever in my life. And, she, and I, so I was calling my wife at the time, I was like, you gotta give me the lyrics, like, I gotta learn them. And uh, there used to be a, well, back in the day, in Arista, there was an uh, upright piano in the lobby, I was there trying to remember this damn thing, and my, this is like, you know, this is like flip phone bullshit, you know, like, you don't know, you know, there's no like, hey, send it to me over there. And uh, so I kind of got them, and I, I learned it, and somehow, and I played it for Clive, and I got my, kind of got my record deal because of this, but I had been sitting in a box for 10 years. So uh, thank you uh, for, thank you to my ex-wife for sending me the lyrics. <laughs> she deserves it all. So yeah, this is uh, called Cry, and thank you for Faith for covering it. It's nice. If I had just one tear running down your cheek, maybe I could Hope maybe I get some sleep if I had just one moment at your expense. Maybe all my misery would be well spent. Yeah. Could you cry? If your love could be caged, honey, I would hold a key and conceal it underneath that pile of lies you handed me. And you'd hunt, and those lies, they'd be all you'd ever find. That'd be all you'd have to know for me to be fine.
baby a wimple would be fine some kind of clue that you're doing time some kind of heartache honey give it a try I don't want pity I just won't put it my yeah you should cry I'll give it up for Martin Lesh over here. Thank you all so much for coming to see us and for the Facebooks. And <laughs> the Facebooks, oh God. It's like, you know, I noticed like when my mother, like my mother's, you know, my parents are older, they're like, they put an S on everything. It's like, we're going to the Walmarts. I saw you on the Facebooks. Like the S is just, I don't know. It's just, I love that though. I, mean, I just want to do it too. I'm just like, now I'm just doing it. Fuck it, I'm doing it. Hey, I'll see you on them Facebooks tomorrow. I'm going to put my... <laughs> They're going to be like, you're so uncool, or am I the best cool? Uh-huh, yeah. Mm. We got time for one more, I think? No. You're looking at me like, I don't know, <laughs> Grandfather's looking at me like, holy Jesus. Um, but thank you all for coming out, and I, I love you guys for listening to us, and I'm going to look at what I can do here one more. I, wa I do want to do the Beastie Boys, because I have to do that, and I do want to do, if I can... Figure out this. I wrote this song called Want to Kill and Tater Salad. I don't know where it is. We'll figure it out. Um, you ready? Hey, listen, if we do, we do the Beastie Boys. I think we're going to do this. I think our last song, if you can see me over there. I don't know if you're there. Hey. Um, we'll do the Beastie Boys. And thank you all for coming out tonight. I love you all. You're amazing. Martin Lesh over here. John Cranford over there. Thank you, Alex and Ron. I love you so much. And uh, hang on. Let me do one more shot of this. Mm. One more thing of this. Hang on. Mm. That's nice. That is nice. So you guys got to help us with this. It has, you know what it is. Like. Super lame. Pop caught you smoking, man. You said, no way. Oh, but that hypocrite smokes two packs a day. And living at home is trash. Finally, for God's sake, get drunk. Come on. 
much say that if you had a mic. Just get out of my house if that's the clothes you're gonna wear. I'll kick you out of my home if you don't cut that hair. Your mom busted and she said You're just jealous is the beat No, one more time Oh, mom, you're just jealous, sister You gotta fight for your right to... Very nice Crazy fuckers. <laughs> hey, buddy. Andy, what a set, buddy. I had no idea what I was in for with this, with you. Until he got to the technical stuff, then uh, cheers. Take a shot, number one tequila, bringing you great live music. Uh, Andy just killed it tonight, man. What a what a great set, man. I, Thank I, you. You know, we, we we don't have a lot of uh, pure singers uh, on the show, when, and I, uh, you know, I really enjoyed every bit of that. Uh, and my, my mom was getting off to it, so. Uh, I don't appreciate you getting my mom off. It's kind of weird, dude. <laughs> I take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, in a, in a weird way, I guess it is, even though I regret saying it. <laughs> no, it was a... Uh, what what an entertainer. I, what, how, how big is a band you usually uh, tour with? Do you, do you tour a lot? And uh, I mean, w back when there was touring, it was either usually a duo or a trio. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's not a lot. Uh, I got rid of the full band a long time ago. It was just too expensive, and you know. Yeah, one time I was playing the cut down version of the uh, of this uh, arena in Tupelo, and I had my end of a cut down to about three thousand people. And Zach Brown band had the other two thirds of it. They'd been there for two weeks setting up a new show, <laughs> right? Just rehearsing it. And they were like all these eighteen wheelers and buses and all this shit. 20 computer banks, walls of fucking lights, and the overhead. Just seeing the overhead made me sick to my stomach. And I, took, uh, I said, Zach, come here, let me show you something. We went over to my side, and I said, see that stool? It's not even mine. <laughs> <laughs> and he got it. He's like, wow. It doesn't cost you anything to do this. I'm like, well, yeah, I got to get the... I got to get four people there. That's all. That's all. I don't have 18 wheelers full of shit behind me. <laughs> No, it is. It's it's a wake 
wake up call sometimes. I mean, but I mean, Zach and I are old friends, but it is a you can't, sometimes you need the big band. But I mean, I, I just was a singer songwriter my whole life. So I just sort of would do it however I could. And, and Martin was a friend of mine and we would tour this way for years, you know. Yeah, it was it was killer, man. I loved it. It was a great, just amazing two piece uh, sound, completely engaging. And uh, right. that's it, right? You know, Jamie Johnson's a really good friend of mine. And, yeah. and he was with a 13 piece fan. <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, you know, he, he totally could go do it by himself and sell the same tickets, but he didn't care. That's how he wanted to do it. No, right, so, right. Yeah, well, maybe so, 11, 11 piece. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, right. Yeah, you, you, I don't know how many horn players you think you need to do music, but <laughs> yeah, I'd say one. <laughs> no, I know I get it, man. But it is it is an artistic like you know you kind of wanted artistically, and I did. I went for years. I was like, I want to have the whole band. I want to have the you know whatever. But I I don't know. I just kind of when it was break when the music industry kind of was you know was crushed after the last eight years. It's been gone. You know, publishing and all that's terrible, and so touring was just. You know, I just was like, can I bring it back to just me and a guitar? And I would love to have another friend of mine or something a little more, but I, I just couldn't. I had to get rid of the whole band. I hate it, but, uh, you know, I get it. Well, I, you know, I'm sure everybody's going to have a different approach. Yeah, uh, yeah. To getting back in it, right? I don't even know if I'm getting back in it. I may re just retire. I, so where where does the, uh, where's the, com what's happening with comedy? Like, are you all, on? is there no, any show? I haven't told one single joke in seven months. <laughs> And uh, so they, they, I mean, they knocked on my tour bus door on 13th of March in a parking lot of a, a venue in uh, Springfield, Illinois. And they basically told me it's over, old man. <laughs> and uh, and That's I was, your too, I was like, this is going to last for two months. <laughs> and seven months That's later, I'm contract. like, it's over, old man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, then, so, you know, it's, it, it's, who knows what will happen in the future, you know, if I get tired. And people want me to come to casinos right now, but they want me to be the, come on in, the water's fine guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if the water is fine. It looks to me like the water's not fine. And, and uh, so. It's you know, tough, man. Turn around and, the, and by the time it does, does anybody give a fuck? Most of my fans are dying. You know, they're. they're, they're <laughs> Yeah. We're not dying. God damn it. <laughs> They're dying like flies, man. They uh COVID wiped out a bunch of them and they were all old anyway, you know. And they're all my age and so I you know, I, I don't know how many people are gonna give a shit. Uh if, if I went back tomorrow, if there was something to go back to, fuck, I don't know. Yeah, I know. But, but luckily I can I, I can quit. I mean I can retire and yeah you know, I I got, I might have to sell a couple things, but I can still retire. <laughs> no, but it's funny though. I, I agree with you, man. It's weird that like, even when some of the rooms will get me back, it's more of a psychological thing of, of who's going to show up. You know, it's like they're, they're full room. Like no one's going to show up because they're afraid. Yeah. And I think it's, a, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I don't, I hate to even speculate because, it, because I, I, you know, I hate to be wrong and, and be a yeah. doomsayer and, you know that, uh, but but right now, right now, I mean, I, I I read the news every morning, so I I do know what's going on, and uh, and uh, you know, and I know how much you know. My mom, you know, she's she's eighty five years old, and she, she was almost dead this time last year. And oh, pulled out. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah, she had an operation and it went shitty, and and uh, bad and, demographic, yeah. Yeah, so she, I mean, we do everything we can to protect her, but she yeah. still wanted to, she flew out to see me in uh, California, and then we flew back here to Austin, and uh, she also doesn't want to just spend the last days of her life hiding somewhere, but right. she still, you know, we keep people away from her, and, you know, and she wears a mask, and we don't go, we don't get around crowds anyway, just right. on the plane, you know, but uh, that, was, that felt safe enough, so... Yeah, my, my my folks are in their like eight early eighties, so I'm I'm kind of more worried about them than anyone else. You know, obviously, it's a thing, man. You know, it's like, but I don't, you know, it's, I I just find it funny that like some of the places I would book, you know, they they were booked, and then we all the shows get canceled, and they're and they're half seats. You know, they're like it would be a two hundred seat, and it's a hundred seat, and and we'll book them, 
And then all of a sudden, I, th I really think there's like, besides the, the actual pandemic, there's also, even when you get past it, there's a psychological issue with the, with the fan. Like that, I don't, they don't want to go in that place. You know, they're like freaked out. Yeah. And you know, and I, and I think there will also be financial issues, you know, yep. I think uh, disposable income, uh, you know, to number one, how long is it going to be before I with 3000 people want to get in a room together and listen to me. Okay. And, exactly. uh, and, and I'm not going to be the one to call, tell them to come because, uh, you know, what if I'm, you know, what if it's not the right thing to do? And I, but anyway, yeah, but, I know with you. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's quandary. That's what it is. <laughs> but that's why this fucking show is amazing, man. You've like put people in a room like virtually, and it's amazing, man. I appreciate you getting me on this. Well, that you know what you you blew the place uh, blew the place apart, and uh, it was, it was uh, just uh, fucking killer to listen to all the way to the Beastie Boys and uh, <laughs> all the original music. I dug it, man. Your voice and uh, nice. playing Rocket Man for us that was amazing. Yeah. Uh, you woke I, up the state of Utah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just. I gotta tell you, the signal for me was sketchy, in and out. It's like my cable. My cousin hooked up my cable. It, but it, but it was. But I gotta tell you, when I came in, when I would catch it, it was fucking amazing, Angie. I was lucky enough to. I was lucky enough to catch um, almost all of Major Tom, and, and I heard you tease the Beastie Boys. But I also heard your original tunes, and dude, you're an amazing writer, an amazing. I, I know Ron's already said every bit of this because. Because we're brothers, and we all like we like all the same stuff. So, I, I'm sure I'm just echoing his words. But uh, what a treat! And me personally, because I missed probably seventy percent of the show. I can't wait because I always do. I always go back and watch the shows when yeah. I don't have to be tuned into yeah. the, the technical side of it. But I can't wait to watch this show. What a treat! What a Thanks, treat! And bro. tell me the tell me the name of the dude on the keyboard because he's he's fucking great. Martin Lesh. Martin, Martin Lesh. Lesh. Yeah, he's a, he's, go, he's, he's he's been with me for he's been with me for twenty years. Yeah, well, yeah, he's, he's amazing, amazing as well. He's amazing as well, and and, and it's just uh, it, it's great to watch you just be the artist that you are, dude. Um, Thank you. And, and 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 I know this about you too, you know, uh, because I get to know the artist a little bit. I know besides writing a million, uh, not I won't say a million, but all a lot of hit songs <laughs> for I'll great say, artists. But, but you write a million hits, then uh, you, you you got a retirement. Like, I expect to be calling me. <laughs> I was exaggerating just a little bit. But you've written many, many great songs for many great artists as well as yourself. But you've uh, you've also overcome some personal struggles, right? I mean, can, yeah. can we talk about it? You want, you want to touch on yeah. that a little? Yeah. Because it's a great story. I think people need to know it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I in... in uh, it was weird, man. I, I was here. I was on the island. I was here, and I woke up in the morning, and I had a—I uh, don't know what happened. I just had a, a really raging headache, and I thought it was just like normal headache. And uh, but it got worse and worse and worse. And I ended up having a stroke that was um, because of this thing called a carotid uh, artery dissection. Artery. Okay. Yeah. And I was just this weird. I mean, I was completely healthy. I was a runner my whole life. I was blah blah. blah. And I just had this headache and I, I thought I so I went to my I was going to go to my chiropractor. I thought maybe my back's out, whatever. And I literally pulled in the thank God, I pulled in and parked my car at the chiropractor's office and I had the stroke in the parking lot. And um, where were you? What what, what city would stay with like like I was on the road, road home? Yeah, I was in Hilton Head right here and I'd driven okay. around and I, I mean it's weird because um depending on what where the stroke is, like I, I was uh I you get paralyzed and I did. And so had I not just pulled over, I would have been driving and paralyzed. Um, and so it kind of... That's, that's my new album, by the way. That's yeah. my new comedy DVD. <laughs> that's, that's my new hard rock band. <laughs> um, but I know I just... I, I'll tell you what's crazy is that for whatever reason, I, this it went through. Like I had this one moment of clarity where kind of things were... I, I learned later that things were moving through my brain and... Uh, it came off me for a second, I was able to get to the chiropractor's office and they, uh, which is amazing. Cause I, the place I go to, I've never had, never had the chiropractor that was there. I've never been with. And she, the girl that was there had had a stroke and she looks at me and goes, this guy's having a stroke. And they got me on the ambulance. And it was like, we live on an Island. It's 12 miles long. So I was, 
I like had like was in a hospital within 15 minutes, so it kind of saved my life. I think. Well, yeah, it did. Obviously, you're here tonight. Yeah. And uh, and, uh, and, and and again, um, what an amazing, amazing show. I was uh, I was really looking forward to your show over the last few weeks. Uh, Thank you. Because well, because because uh, because I get to screen all everyone that's coming on, and and, and, and there's certain <laughs> things that I just go, oh, this is going to be great. But but then I come to find out I know I'm booking other dudes that you know and um, yeah and coming, who is it who is it it's well Ed, you had Ed, Ed Rowland right Let's yeah we had Ed Rowland yeah but we had we have somebody coming on and I think next week that he says every time he's in Atlanta he stays on your couch <laughs> oh, damn it. Don't the they <laughs> yeah no, yeah I stay on Ron's couch Ron stays on mine <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh no! I know you. You had didn't you have uh, you had Davin? Do you have Davin? Davin? That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah Davin. Oh, Davin. Yeah, yeah I love that. Great. Kid. Yeah. I call my kids now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so look, I'm I'm getting a great signal because we're actually traveling and I'm starting to see gas stations. We we didn't see Jack shit for <laughs> at least ninety five minutes. You crazy. said you're. Are you in Utah, Alex? Uh yeah, I think we're getting ready to uh, bail on Utah because the Mormons just aren't partying enough for me. And, <laughs> and, I, and I'm hitting Nevada. I'm hitting Nevada where, every, where all bets are off. <laughs> but, hey, Ron, do you are you do live in Austin? Is that where you live? Uh, yeah, I live in California in, in, uh, in Austin. I'm selling yeah. a place in California, but I was out there uh, for the last few weeks and, and – uh, but the, the house is for sale out there, and then, uh, you know I'm just I'm gonna get out because I I got no reason to be there, and I'm really just got, uh, <laughs> trying to put the brakes on. It's on fire, you know. I know. <laughs> like, there's nothing for me to do out there. Crazy. And uh, you know, Jack and the Box tacos are, are, are two for three dollars. I'm like, I'm not paying extra <laughs> money for Jack and the Box tacos. It's two for a fucking dollar, or I'm not eating. My mother loves Jack in the Box tacos, by the way. Yeah, I'm just putting that out there. If you ever run across my mother, if you ever run across my mom, and you got a you got a bag full of Jack in the Box tacos, you're you're in good you're in good shape. If you if you take a girlfriend to Jack in the Box for the first date, she'll love you. <laughs> Long time. All right, and guys. Well, I'll have fun. I loved it. I dug the show. I'm beat to death, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a night and uh, yeah. get, get have a couple of good guys. And uh, uh, yeah, I love the show tonight. Thank you so much for being Thank on you. it, Alex. I'm glad you're uh, still making it across the country. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and, uh, and good luck. Where are you gonna be tomorrow, Alex? I'll be tomorrow night. I'm in Las Vegas, and, uh, and then we're gonna fly out of there on Sunday. So we'll do. Do the show tomorrow night from Vegas and uh, uh, John Henry's house. Actually, we're gonna be at John Henry's house, and that's part of team number one. And uh, let, I'll sign this thing out one more time, everybody. Don't forget to tip tip these artists. Uh, Angie Aparo, uh, Aparo it's a uh, PayPal. It's on there in the screen. It's all on the screen. Yeah, it's and, all uh, uh, tomorrow night. The Gar tomorrow night, the Garth Experience. And remember, we're here yes. every Thursday through Saturday uh, at 10 p.m. Eastern. You do the math. Figure out when that is for you. Share this with everybody because we're having fun. We're having fun, and, and, and we're keeping the spirits up. And thank you again, Angie, for sharing your great talent. Thank you. Thank we'll you see all you there tomorrow time. night, everybody. Love Absolutely. you all. Absolutely. Good night, guys. Please do it again. Please do it again. Yeah. Love you guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Good night, everybody, from the number one concert series. We'll see you tomorrow night.